Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Windows 10 and Windows 11 could be getting a little bit more bloatware. And this is according to a recent report by Windows Latest, where apparently Microsoft now has confirmed that they are looking into reports that the HP Smart App is getting automatically installed on Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices from the Microsoft Store and through the Microsoft Store without user consent. And the confusing bit is, is that it's appearing on non-HP devices as well, like Lenovo laptops as an example. Now, as mentioned, um, this is a report by Windows Latest, and this is just a screenshot provided by um, Windows Latest of one of their devices where the HP Smart App has been installed and yeah, this is obviously the app that's found under the recently added apps list in the Windows 10 start menu and this was installed without user consent from the Microsoft Store on a non-HP device which is the concerning bit and over and above that um, the reports also suggest that um, the users have noticed the app being installed on virtual machines after doing a fresh installation of Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now at this stage, although Microsoft has, as mentioned, confirmed that they are aware of the HP Smart Auto installation reports, at this stage it seems though, although it's unclear, but it could be related to Windows update or driver installation issues on those non-HP devices causing this to be auto-installed. And obviously I'll keep a close eye on this one. And uh, um, HP Smart App, in, in case you're unaware, is an app that allows you to manage H HP printers. And normally it's pre-installed on HP PCs. So as mentioned, the concerning bit is it's been installed now from the Microsoft Store automatically without user consent um, on non-HP devices. Now, the HP Smart App, just on a side note, um, is not going to harm your system. Um, it's not a malicious app. And what you can do is you can just right click if you do notice it on your device and you didn't install it or manually install the app. What you can do is you can just right click if you see it under recently added or in your all apps list. You can just right click and uninstall the app. It's quite safe to uninstall it. And um, Microsoft, as mentioned, has confirmed these uh, issues and they have said that um, they are aware of the reports and will share more details soon. And obviously, when those official details become available while this is happening, be it a driver problem or a Windows installation or update problem, obviously, I'll keep you guys posted and let you know accordingly. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.